Hey guys, it's Felicia. So today I will be busting some myths about Asians like me. And just so an update for my New Year's resolution, I am still using my Fitbit watch. And I've been doing great on this, so I'll be keep on going. I just wanted to do this Asian Mythbusters thing because if you guys have seen the TV show Mythbusters, they like bust myths or prove that myths, the, the myth, you know what, we'll just, uh, they prove the myths if they're, you know, truth, solid facts, or if they're just a real myth. And so I just thought, yeah, this is a good idea. So without further ado, let's get started. So the one thing probably everyone thinks about when you say the word Asian is smart. Like seriously, everyone's like, yeah, all Asians are smart. And just so you know, not all Asians are smart. Like there are some Asians who are not as smart, but it's okay because everyone's not perfect. So you can't be perfect in everything. And it's not like I get A's on every single assignment. Sometimes I get some B's. That's okay. So some people are hilarious. Like people are like, yeah, I think all Asians come from China. Seriously. Like there are other countries too. There's Vietnam, there's Malaysia, there's Singapore. There's so many other countries I can list. That is not China. Uh, so this happened this morning that kind of triggered this video. So there's a guy at my bus stop. I was messaging my friend. He doesn't really talk type I don't know what you want to say but he doesn't really understand English that well so I try to speak Chinese to him like I said before yes I'm Chinese but that doesn't mean that every single person is from China I was born in America and so he sees me typing in Chinese and he's just like whoa is that Chinese is that Korean is that Japanese and I was like Ugh. And I didn't say anything, and then he goes, is that Korean Chinese? And I just literally facepalm. Like seriously guys, Korean and Mandarin are two different things. This one probably bothers me the most. It's true that we have small eyes, but we don't have eyes to the point where just someone just took a black pencil and just wrote lines on our faces. We actually can see our eyes are pretty big. Well, yeah, maybe our eyes aren't as big as other people's eyes, but at least our eyes aren't to the point where it's a line. So one of my friends, and yes, he's Asian, but I'm not gonna just call him Asian. I'm just gonna say his name is Aaron. Random name, let's call him Aaron. That's not his real name, but we'll call him Aaron. Okay, so Aaron and this guy was having a conversation over basketball, and then the conversation went from basketball to it escalated really quickly. The guy, not Aaron, the other guy was like, you can't even play basketball. You can't even see the ball because your eyes are like this. And whoa, that was a mind-blowing conversation because, yeah, our eyes don't look like this. It looks like a little bit bigger than a line. Well, this might be one of the big struggles that I have, not, not like besides every other Asian accusation, they, whatever myths they brought up, but let's just say that people judge my food quite often. <laughs> They're edible. They're not plastic. So sometimes I'll bring it in like a thermo and like have like fried rice or whatever. And people would see that big jar and they'll be like, what is in that? It's just rice. Many people don't realize what they're saying. So it's okay. I forget you all. Forget you all. Forgive you all. And some of you that are watching this video probably have said this to someone or said it to another person. And yeah, you guys can probably get a feel after watching this video how our daily life goes on as we eat, meet new people each time. So if you guys enjoyed this video or somehow relate to me, make sure you guys give this a big thumbs up and comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys want me to do for my next video or upcoming video just leave it in the comments below as usual so go check out my instagram and make sure you guys give me a follow i usually post sneak peeks and you know something once in a while and try to be active on there so make sure you guys go 
follow me at the vlog girl if you guys aren't sure about the spelling check it in the description box below so a special guest will be coming on to my channel in one of my upcoming videos and we will be doing the water challenge um i'm pretty sure there are other water challenges uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to call this one, so I'm just gonna call it the water challenge. And yeah, I guess you guys have to wait and see. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button and be ready for that water challenge. Well, I guess that's all the time that we have for today. Let's go, Felicia. Signing out.